Hey guys, David Schneider, Whiskey City Trad Gear, and I am in the airport again. Where am I going, you say? Or maybe you don't say. I think that maybe you say, but I'm going north, Maine, to the Black Widow Bear Camp. Should be awesome. Stay tuned. I am in an airport in Newark, New Jersey, which I'm looking right out the window over to New York City. And I'm seeing the World Trade Center. I can catch a, it's a little catch. It's a little blip of the uh, Statue of Liberty. You don't see that every day. But anyway, in New York, New Jersey, on a layover from CVG out of Cincinnati this morning, um, heading out to uh, Squaw Pan Outfitters. And they are, they are in Presque Isle. Maine. I got some uh, information from uh, Miles Essick at uh, Kalamazoo earlier this year at the Kalamazoo Bow Show. And uh, we started talking about the bear camp that he had and uh, that Black Widow's put on for a number of years. And I thought, well, why not? So I tried to get in, hard to get in. And then it just lucked out that somebody canceled and uh, I got in. So didn't want to pass up the opportunity to uh, spend six, seven days in bear camp with uh, a lot of good dudes, a lot of good fellow traditional archers like myself and uh, just good people and, and of course the Black Widow folks. I've, I've got like a four hour layover. I'm not getting into Maine until like 11.45 tonight. So yeah and then we're gonna we're gonna kick off tomorrow and uh, I'm actually uh, a couple days ahead of season so I'm gonna help them uh, I'm gonna help them do some baiting Tony and them and hopefully uh, you know learn a few things while I'm out there. But anyway so that's all I got, folks. So just stay tuned. We'll see what happens here. Made it to Maine. A little bitty airport, but we're here. Let's see if we can get done on a bar. Okay, just woke up. That's where I'm at here. We're Squaw Pan Outfitters. This is the this is the cabin that I'm staying in. Of course, there's other people coming. I'm the first one here. He said there'll be about 15 to 20 in camp this season. Give you a little tour of the place. That's where I'm staying. Right there for the week. Got the bunks kind of deal. Bunks kind of deal. Got bedrooms, bunks kind of deal. Got two bathrooms. It's all my stuff within the hallway there. Um, got two bathrooms in this one. So, pretty nice, pretty nice little setup for camp. So yeah, show you the outside here. All right, so here's my cabin. He's got a cabin over there, cabin up there. The main lodge. Another cabin down over the hill there. Place to skin and quarter your bear. Handicap accessible. And then probably one of the biggest things I heard about this bear camp is this uh, nightly campfire right here. And he's got a pretty good looking range here going on. Check that out. I just braced up the PSA. I might come over and fling a few arrows here. But yeah. Plenty of stuff going on. Like I say, I'm a little early. I won't be alone long. <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to it. Give you a peek into the main lodge here. Pretty nice. It's a good moose. 
put in for the draw this year was no good. Try her again next year. name of that tune. <laughs> Done. guys did a little uh, running bait with Tony and the guys today and uh, got people starting to slide into camp here a little bit but I just took a minute to come down here and do a little practicing and I'll tell you what I'm glad I brought another string I already have string malfunction that string I've been running on there for some time and uh, it uh, de looped up here on me so <laughs> I am glad I brought another string so looked like to me the average shot when I was out there um, helping with the bait was about 15 16 yards so that's where I'm at here but 15 yards I just stepped it it's actually 20 yards right there I'm trying to keep her right around 15 Oh, you're saying 300 on the nose. Right Let's here. go plus or minus five for, an, right. for an ice cream with that ice cream joint. Uh, you ought to see this ice cream joint. He's, he's taking it serious. I'm going over 305. <laughs> over 305. Yeah. 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 And it's not that old. It's probably like a three-year-old. That is a big He's fat. Bird. He's fat up, man. Big Look at that big this, this Grab something real quick, something kicking down, please. Okay, sure. Thank you. I'm going to film this time. What is it? 284.7. Oh, I owe Toby an ice cream. Here we are, day two, evening two. They hit the barrel last night, so it was, it was drug off. So, there's no bears in the area, so that's a good thing. So hopefully they'll be in here tonight. It'll be my birthday. It's on my birthday. Birthday bears. Didn't get the birthday bear. Didn't see a bear. They got to show themselves one of these nights. Got a few bears down yesterday. That's a good one. They're all good ones. Pretty good bear there on the right. Wasn't it tonight? That could mean one of two things. 
things. They're going to hit it early tonight, or they've moved on. Or I guess we're going to see. So yeah, third night's a charm. Wish us luck. It's the third night. Struck out again. I've yet to see a bear to sight. That's why it's called hunting and not killing. So we'll keep after it. And you went and did that for a long time. Yeah, that rock. Yeah. Oh, really? so, yeah. It was, uh, let's still talk. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he really enjoyed it. So. All right, guys. Night number four. We got some scent sticks out tonight. And uh, the bear keep hitting the bait. They keep hitting the bait. They just haven't messed up yet. It's hard to leave an active bait site when the bears are hitting it real good. So, this one I got working with. I'm in a panel blind. Oops. Sorry. About 18 yards to the barrel. So, hopefully tonight's the night. I didn't, I didn't opt to move. I was thinking about it. But I've already got three nights invested here. they got to mess up one of these nights. So, night number four. Hopefully, uh, we get a bear. There's just one bear killed last night at camp, bringing it up to seven. That's seven bears out of uh, 18 people. Which is a pretty good start, but it's not where we want to be yet. Hopefully we get one tonight, so stay tuned.
then the arrow kicked and it went hit a sapling and then skipped right off of his high shoulder. Sticking back there in the ground. He was taking a step away from the barrel. I drew back. I was I was I was at full draw for a minute. I let down because he walked off the barrel, then he came back and he turned broadside to me. 18 yard chip shot. Shots over. I'm glad I didn't hit him. Hopefully he comes back in. It's been about a half hour, 40 minutes. My bear is still out there. He's about 50 yards now. Walking around. He's wanting to come back into the bait. He just won't but he kept going off and looking behind him. Now I know why. There's another bear. I've seen it. It broke over the hill. But he's not coming in. He's lingering around out there too. It's like he's waiting for it to get dark or something. Stay tuned. Might be able to follow up that shot. Night five. Last night was not a very eventful night. So, we're going to try it again. Well, that's the end of night five. No luck tonight. Got one day left. That's a monster. Oh, that's poking young. This is the annual uh, There's no lobster day. lobster eat Friday oh, night at Squaw Pan. Right Look at that. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. Last night in Maine, I blew my chance two nights ago. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to air it nonetheless. And I got a little footage here from Chad Rickert's stand where Moose came under his stand. And then I loaned a GoPro to Adam. Adam is from uh, the old Texas Panhandle. And uh, he filmed his bear hunt. So I'm going to air that here. Testing, testing. This is some B-roll for you. I'm real sorry that I left this camera in my bag and then left the bag in the truck. And then, but the most, the main thing I'm sorry about is that it rained like all night. But the camera still works, I think. We're gonna watch the video, see if the sound still works. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> what do you think, buddy? You yeah, I think we did it. That's air. a nice bear, brother. It's a bear. It's a bear. <laughs> it's a goddamn old bear. <laughs> yeah, that right it is. <laughs> oh, I'm the happiest yeah. man alive again. <laughs> yep. I was. You want to get your picture? I, got, I was I got that man one. earlier, and then a I was A little disappointed there for a little bit. And now I am again.